So now what we're going to be doing is creating our database table to store the links that we're going to be shortening. And we're also going to be setting up our Illuminate database component so we can easily use this for models to uh, basically retrieve data as you would within the Laravel framework. Now we're not using the Laravel framework, we're just borrowing a component from it to make our lives a lot easier. So let's get started with actually creating the table first of all. So I'm going to create a new table just in here called links and hit add. It doesn't matter which database client you're using to create this, by the way. And this has automatically generated me an ID with a type of integer, a length of 11, which you can reduce if you want. It's unsigned and it also has uh, an auto increment extra here. And it's obviously the primary key of this table. So auto increment just means we're going to increment from one to two to three every time we create a new record. And we'll see how we can adjust this later to give ourselves uh, slightly longer URLs uh, if we want to. So we'll see how that works in a minute, but let's fill out the rest of these. We're going to have a URL, uh, a field called URL, and I'm just going to set this to a varchar with 255 in length, but you can play around with this if you think you're going to need longer URL storing. Uh, go ahead and do that. We're also going to have a code here, so that's again going to be a varchar. And again, I'm just going to set this to 255, it's just habit, uh, but you can reduce this significantly uh, because your codes in the URL at the end are never going to be that long. So last of all, we're going to create our created at, so that's a timestamp. This is when the record was created, and updated at, which is a timestamp as well. Now we're not going to be using updated at, but uh, eloquent, which we're going to be pulling in, uh, is well basically requires that we have created at and updated at as well, and it just makes it a lot easier if we just include both from the start. We don't need to mess around with things. So that is our database table created. Let's go ahead and create a uh, an initial record just so we can test things as we go along. So for the URL, let's say duckduckgo.com. And let's add a code in here. Uh, let's just say D U C K uh, D G O or something like that. You know, like something as an example. And for the created at date, we'll set to now. So this is how our database is going to look as it fills up with uh, URLs that have been shortened. The URL won't be duplicated unless it has something like www put in front of it, in which case it will be duplicated. But if we pass this URL through to our application in the API, uh, we'll just get this code back. It won't create a new record because it's a waste of space to generate a new record for the same URL. So now that we've done that, then we need to actually set up our database connection within our app so we can work with it. And this is slightly different to what you might be used to. You might maybe used to using uh, PDO or MySQLi or something like that to connect to your database. But using Eloquent is going to make it a lot easier for us to create models and generally access our database in a, in a nicer way. So inside of app then, let's create a new file and we're going to call this database.php. This is just going to be our database configuration. So inside of here, Laravel's database component makes it easy to be used outside of Laravel. So we need to do a little bit of setup here to make this work, but after that, it's a breeze. So we need to pull in illuminate database capsule manager, but we're going to call that capsule rather than call it manager. So we're working now with an uh, instantiating an object that we're calling capsule. So we're going to create a new variable here called capsule, and that's a new capsule. And then we're going to say capsule add connection. This is essentially uh, the connection details to your database. So because uh, this uses PDO, we need to specify the driver that we're using. This, this allows you to connect to other database types. So if you do have another database that you're working with, uh, then you can specify that here. We also need to define the host that we're working with. In this case, it's 127.0.0.1 or localhost. Uh, we need to specify the database name, which for me is Shorty. We saw that earlier just here. Uh, obviously, this may be different for you. And we need to provide a username and password, obviously. 
For me, the username and password are both root. And we need to specify character encoding as well. And that's UTF-8. And we need to specify a collation as well. And that's UTF-8 Unicode CI. And we can prefix if we want, but we'll leave this empty. So as long as you are successfully connecting to your database, we can boot Eloquent. And this allows us to use Eloquent on our models. If you don't know what this means, don't worry. It will become very clear when we actually start to create our models uh, a little bit later on. So let's just finish up by including our database file within our start.php file and we are ready to go now. So if you have any problems along the way for the rest of the series, uh, it's more than likely that you have uh, some kind of details here not specified correctly, uh, or obviously there's some kind of error in here. But we should be good to go now and we can move on to creating our first model and then we can look at how we can actually use Eloquent to pull data from our links table.